All right, so let's take a look at your first homework. This is the post uh, buggy lab kind of just jump in. I can't even talk right now. So it says describe the motion of the optic model in the graph. Is it speeding up or slowing down? So when we say describe the motion, let's be clear. We see that the object is moving, and when we plot its position, we've got a positive slope. And so what we'll say is that it is moving forward. That's what positive slope means. And since the slope is a steady slope, um, it's moving forward at a constant velocity. So, of course, I do the natural thing of throwing in a trick question here. It says, is it speeding up or slowing down? The answer is neither. The positive slope means it's going forward. So, of course, I'm going to try to trick you like that here and on tests. Now, it says determine the object's average velocity. This is another way of saying get the slope because that's how we do this with a position graph. So I'll look here, say, at, um, at uh, if I measure this coordinate here, this is at 3.5 seconds, I'm at 50. And at 0 seconds, I appear to be at 15. So let me just go ahead and calculate the slope based on that. So I will take 50 minus 15 over 3.5 minus 0. Uh, that slope, the v-naught, is going to be delta x over delta t. Remember what I said. I know that a lot of you would love to see this written as m is delta y over delta x, but please remember we're now in physics, so we're not going to be using this approach at all. Uh, though it is the basis of this slope calculation here, and when I do that, what I'm going to end up getting is I will end up getting 35 over 3.5, and so my slope ends up being 10. Now the units, when you get the units of the slope, you take the units of the rise over the units of your run. So that's going to be 10 meters per second. Now it says write the mathematical model that describes the object's motion. You know, for this, I am just going to be a little nice here. So we'd say y equals mx plus b if we were in algebra class. And then we'd write this using the point slope form. We'd say y is the slope was 10, um, the variable at horizontal is x, and then of course our y-intercept is right here at 15. Now that's totally fine for algebra, but we're not going to do that in physics. And um, not this week, but starting soon, I am going to start getting a little bit more strict about it, so do be careful. The way we want to write this in proper physics notation to reflect the fact that we're dealing with a car that's moving at steady speed or constant velocity is x is 10t plus 15. Why would we do this? Because it says, assuming the motion remains constant, determine the object's position at 10 seconds. So check this out. We plug in t is 10 into this formula up here. So x is 10 times 10 plus 15, and that's going to give me 100 plus 15. So in 10 seconds, the car ends up at 115 meters away from the origin. Okay, There we go. Now, we did this on the cahoots. Um, earlier today. And you know what? I think I'm going to take a look at this in the second video.